What is Mahout? Mahout is a Java library which implements machine learning techniques for clustering, classification and recommendation. Now, let's understand what this exactly implies. This is a Java library, meaning the libraries which are created using Java and which implement the machine learning techniques of clustering, classification and recommendation, which are the most popular and prevalent techniques in the data science industry today. Where does Mahout and its origins lie in the Apache Software Foundation? So, towards the left, if you see, you have the Apache project where you had branching out of Hadoop, Lucene, and Mahout, which started off as small projects, which all of this combined to give what we have today as Mahout, which is the most one of the most pre prevalent and popular machine learning libraries available in conjunction with the Hadoop environment today. Why Mahout? Now, why is Mahout so popular these days? It is Apache licensed. There is a good community. I mean, you will already find a good community of developers and users, business analysts and data scientists who are already using Mahout. And, uh, you know, and they constantly contribute to the Mahout uh, set of libraries and documentation, which improves and prevalence, makes the models more rigorous and helps in turn to funnel of ever popular growth engine Mahout. There is good documentation available. It is scalable, meaning it renders itself pliable to smaller data sets, moving itself to large data sets, scaling in petabytes. It's extensible, meaning it allows itself to be extended with other languages which can invoke Mahout. There is a command line interface. As you can see, you can fire Mahout programs through the command line. And there is also a Java library which can be invoked through Java programs. Here is a cursor review of the list of algorithms that Mahout basically, or types of list of algorithms that Mahout basically uh, shares and, and the manner in which the Hadoop stack actually converses with Mahout. So you start with Mahout Math Scala Core Libraries and Scala DSL. Here you have Mahout distributed BLAs, distributed row matrix APIs with R and MATLAB like operators, distributed ALS, SPCA, SSVD, similar analysis, which which is applicable across you know, Spark, H2 and Flink, which is still in development as of this presentation. You have the interactive shell, which, which are the shell for Spark optimized Mahout DSL. There is collaborative filtering. There is user-based collaborative filtering, item-based collaborative filtering, matrix factorization with ALS, factorization with ALS on implicit feedback and weighted matrix factorization SVD+. Now, all of these models and all these terminologies may seem new to you, but these will become more and more relevant and important as we go as we go on and towards each of these techniques and uh, filtering mechanisms and algorithms shall be discussed in Threadbare and how Mahout can be deployed to use these techniques. So, in the previous slide, we covered collaborative filtering, then here we look at classification, and then you have clustering. Um, collaborative filtering basically in, in a very in, in essentially simplistic terms refer to um, a, a filterization or, or, or sequential reduction in options available as selectable items to a particular user who is accessing a web page based on past um, accesses or past selections made. Let's say for instance um, a user uh, looking at Flipkart for instance and based on his past history of uh, of items or um, or categories that he's accessed, um, collaborative filtering essentially means that the some of the most frequented items get visible first to user the next time he logs in. There are various sophisticated techniques for doing it, and um, you know, and which each level of factor sophistication is where what we will see how Mahout implements these. Right? Classification essentially refers to um, a mechanism by which we can categorize data. Okay, categorization of data essentially lies to data belong, belong to a certain group or a certain uh, factor or category based on some intelligent inputs um, by which we are uh, by which we are analyzing the data. Some of the more uh, popular algorithms used are logistic regression, trained via BSGD. You have naive Bayes and complemented naive Bayes. You have random forest, hidden Markov models, and multi-layer. Clustering techniques, so uh, 
classification as we discussed was was about uh, categorization of data based on spe specific uh, logic or rules which we may uh, want to apply um, to look at the data for instance if you have a huge pool of data which is which takes care of uh, food items for instance so you want to group uh, the entire data data set specifically around categories such as or classify around on on, on on categories such as groups such as fruits or vegetables, cereals, pulses, and so on and so forth. So um, there are different techniques for this: random forest, hidden Markov models, multi-layer perception, logistic regression, and naive bias. Clustering essentially uh, refers to techniques by which one looks at analyzing the complete sparsity of data and finding out clumps of data around which you have localized uh, density or agglomeration of data, specific data points. Say, for instance, uh, population densities and clustering, where you'll find densities higher around certain pockets, which are, which go with the cities, and you have rarefied population densities in villages and so on and so forth. So, clustering refers to grouping of data based on um, relative sparsity or density of the samples of the samples in the sample space. So, the most popular techniques being canopy clustering, K means clustering, fuzzy K means streaming K means spectral clustering all of these techniques we shall discuss in detail as we go on you have topic models which look at latent Dirichlet allocations and you have miscellaneous algorithms which look at row similarity jobs concatenation matrices co-allocations sparse tfid vectors from text xml parsing email archive parsing using integration and evolutionary processes right so we shall as, as I mentioned earlier, we shall study each of these techniques in greater detail.